and like obviously I couldn't convey that like a little bit like tipsy and a little bit high but I just so I just said like I literally just made myself skinnier so that people would like ignore me and he was like I feel like that's like such an exaggeration or like I feel like that's an overreaction and like I was like literally this close to tears and like I was there with like my littles I was like you don't understand I just felt like I was protecting like my sibling like my little sibling against like a predator and you were just like fraternizing with them and like I don't know like we were having we were having like a dead ass argument in the middle of the street and like I was almost crying and then like Bradley finally this is like Bradley's one good moment and he was he stopped it he was like look or but I just I think it's like different for them and then we just stopped talking about it and then like moved on with the night even though like we were like obviously rattled and shit um but like Rowan was totally fine and unaffected um and so on our way out of the concert which was very fun I had a good time and Noki was like haha fuck sex offenders fuck racist bitches like my girls to the front like we are all fucking beautiful like your body's fucking sick brown bitches we it um fuck ice fuck the cops um love princess Nokia. good time like it felt like a safe space especially like she's very like woman supportive like and also like she's just like it's an inclusive space and like it felt like that and it felt really safe and then afterward we were walking like back and um roman was like see nikki i feel like this is why we're such good friends because we can have like such heavy talks and like we can even argue and then like we get over it and like we like move on and like i was like yeah roman that's really sweet but in the inside i was like absolutely seething um on top of that uh he's just like he just doesn't see other people's experiences like and whenever that like he's like supportive light i guess like i guess he'd call himself a feminist or whatever and but like really what are you doing like absolutely nothing um yeah and also just like on top of that like just personally like i feel like a lot of the times like because of that like i just don't feel respected around him and like i also feel like his, he thinks his friends are cooler so like you know what that's fine like we have our own taste and yours seems to be like rich white people and like that's fine for you because you're a rich white person i guess um so i just like i don't know I just don't i don't feel supported i don't feel safe like i've also like feel like it's not like i don't feel free to like talk about like me and my identity about them around them so like it's just like not where i meant to be mm, sorry i'm thinking i want shiny things <sighs> so yeah i just like don't and like he doesn't have to know this like at all um and like yeah he's really like he's been there for me in like really rough times like especially like right after Bradley lost his fucking shit, like, I would not have been okay without Roman. And, like, I've had really good, important moments with Roman. And then also, like, I don't always need him. I've also, like, I have, I've had, like, therapy, like, sessions where I'm, like, yeah, I'm, like, realizing the difference between, like, truly supportive friends and not really supportive friends. And, like, literally my example of a not supportive friend was Roman. And, or, like, a false supportive friend was Roman. And, like, my example of a good supportive friend was you um yeah he also just like i don't know like he seems to like or at least did seem to like really like hang out with bradley which is like fine like he deserves to still have friends um but like for that time there like i didn't want to be around bradley so if he wanted to choose bradley like i mean it felt like shit but like you know i can't change that because I'm me and I'm my own person and I can make new friends. Um, and it's worked out. I love my friends. I love all my fucking friends so much. They're perfect and brilliant. TLDR, like, I don't have to talk to him, like, on the regular. Like, he doesn't have to be that part of my life. Um, and he was, like, really important to me at a certain point. 
and I appreciate that and I like I look on it fondly um and he better invite me to his wedding but um I think just you know I don't I did text him today for, for like happy birthday um and shit and that's that on Roman um next topic um because my brain is dumb and can't literally like focus on new things um i wrote down hold on just using my pencil sharpener on my eyeliner pencil Fuck. it's my fucking favorite eyeliner but like um this shit never works um anyway after that i wrote acne slash face oh, fuck that had water in it um, face slash rash. Um, I already talked about my pimple, which was like the thing. I just like, ugh, I keep getting cystic acne and like, you know what, like to a certain extent, like, yes, I would prefer not to have cystic acne or like for appearances and stuff. Um, but at the same time, like, what am I going to do? Like if I have cystic, if I have acne, I have acne. But the thing about acne is that like cystic acne is that it fucking hurts like balls. I lost my pencil. I was literally just holding it. Anyway, it hurts like balls. I oh, got it. Um, and I wish it didn't because I just don't like having pulsing pain in my face. And I don't think that's a controversial opinion. Um, but that's the kind of acne I get. I guess I just won't use brown eyeliner. F. I'll just use... Okay, I just spent like a long ass time trying to sharpen the stupid pencil, so let's hope it works and doesn't break. Anyway, I told you about my um my cystic acne already. Um, which is just a fucking bummer. Um the other thing is like my rash, you can't really see it. I'm gonna show you. So trigger warning rash. Um you can't really see it, but like I just had like a rash here and it's super annoying and I also have like one right here and a mirror on the other one that's it no more showing rashes um and i think that's dumb because i shouldn't get rashes and i've never gotten rashes before so it should stop that um because it's really homophobic i'm gonna do my eyeliner real fast i don't even know what i'm talking about anymore i did my stupid eyeliner um i don't know my cousin's in the marines um, I'm sure you already fucking know that I am like a cop, all cops are bastards, um, fuck ice. I'm super not into the military, um, considering the fact that the civil war that my parents lived through was in fact paid for by the US government. Thank you, JFK. Um, so I'm just like not really a fan on top of that, like, JROTC and like ROTC like they really like target like poor people because poor people need money and the army offers them money in return for like literally being part of the army um which is basically like why my cousin is in the marines like he can't afford college I guess he doesn't <laughs> really have the grades for it um like to get a scholarship or anything um so he joined the fucking well he didn't join the army if i tell him he's like an army boy he like gets so pissed off he's like i'm a marine and it's like you see that fuck um he's like i'm a marine like not in the army like it's different um but you know armed forces um and so like good for him i guess like actually it fucking sucks like he was in san jose for a while and then he went to Texas, which he hated, and now he's in Hawaii, so hopefully he likes that. I know there are a lot of cool fucking birds out there. Um, anyway, he's in the army, um, and I guess he's really feeling fucking lonely, because, like, we've been texting, and, like, literally since he moved to the country, he, like, when we were, like, eight or whatever, he literally has never texted me. Um, so now we text, and also, like, do you know the game Pikmin? It's super cute. It's like, it's actually fucking horrible, it's evil. Um, so it's a super cute game, and you play as a little guy, and these are your Pikmin, and they follow you everywhere, and they do whatever you tell them to do. And your goal there in this game is like to find food from like, because the planet you're from is like, 
has no food and you go to another planet and there are Pikmin there and they help you find food. And that's super cute and all. But then you have to go into battle and um, fight things. And when you go into battle, the Pikmin, which you literally like, you helped create, um, like they're like the first thing they see in the world is you. Um, you take them into battle and they get murdered because they can die and that fucking sucks. And honestly, like I've lost like two of them so far to like monsters on the planet. All the other ones I've lost because like if you don't get back on the spaceship with everyone, like they just die on the planet. So like you literally leave for the night and like they just look behind and they get eaten because they're like small and stupid. So it's fucking brutal because I just can't handle it. Like they trust me. I raised them. Like I made them to who they are. I've been with them since they were born. Um, like it fucking sucks when like they die. Fucking sucks when they die. Um, anyway, he was talking about that game. He was like, oh, it's really fucking good. And I was like, oh my god, like I'm so jealous. Like I've been wanting to play this. Like I loved playing the one for the GameCube. Um, would love to play. Um, my sister's been really wanting it. And he was like, oh really? Like I'll pay for it if you want. And I was like, um, so uh, yeah. Um, my cousin bought Pikmin for us and it was fucking sick. Um, and like, thank you. Um, cousin in the army slash marines whatever um also i really fucking miss him on thanksgiving we were supposed to like drive by our like family's houses and like just say hi um, but we ended up like staying at their house like for a couple hours which was like really not what i wanted to do but i also like fucking miss him so much because like we've been like me my sister my cousin have been like the three since like third grade or whatever um, also literally like, you know how like at Thanksgiving there's like the kids table and the adult table? Well, we are not kids anymore, but we also don't talk to the adults. So we've made like our own table 